Hello friends as requested by you today we are going to solve class 3 IGQ Olympiad previous year question paper that is of 2022 set A so are you ready all the class 3 students let's solve the paper first section is of journal awareness question 1 Comets revolve around the dash in a highly elliptical orbit. Is it Earth, Moon, Jupiter or Sun? The right answer is option D, Sun. Comets are cosmic snowballs of frozen gases, rock and dust that revolves around the Sun. Question 2. Which of the following food items is prepared from fermented rice and lentil batter? is it puri idli bread or burger let me give you a clue it's a south indian dish and we really enjoy eating it with sambar yeah the right answer is option b idli idli is prepared from fermented rice and lentil batter question 3 which of the following animals is not an omnivore what are omnivores Omnivores are those living being that eat both plants and animals based products. So crow, crow is an omnivore. Bear is also an omnivore. Rat is also an omnivore. But option D, koala, they are herbivores. The right answer is option D. Question four: Which part of the plant is shown in the given picture? Can you recognize what is this? This is a sweet potato. Unlike the potato which is tuber or thick in stem, the sweet potato that we eat is the storage root of the plant. So this is root of the plant. Option B is the right answer. Question 5. Which of the following is an extinct flightless bird? So we have option A as penguin. B is dodo bird. C is ostrich and D is heron. So do you know which one has been now extincted? They are no more there. It is option B, dodo bird. Dodo bird is an extinct flightless bird. Question 6. Which Indian state is made after reorganizing Andhra Pradesh? Is it Tamil Nadu? Kerala, Uttarakhand or Telangana. And the right answer is option D, Telangana. The Andhra Pradesh Reorganization Act of 2014, which is commonly known as the Telangana Act, is an act of Indian Parliament that split the state of Andhra Pradesh into Telangana. And the residuary Andhra Pradesh state is an outcome of the Telangana movement. Question 7. Which neighboring country of India is known as the land of thunder dragon? Is it Nepal, China, Bangladesh or Bhutan? And the right answer is option D, Bhutan. Bhutan is recognized as a land of thunderbolt due to the extreme and large thunderstorms which wash via the valley from the Himalayas. Next question Madhavi Mudgal has distinguished herself in the field of vocal music Kathak Odissi dance or Bharatanatyam and the right answer is option C Odissi dance Question 9 which of the following storage devices is are found inside CPU box for the board hard drive pen drive or both a and b so the right answer is option d both a and b are found inside cpu box question 10 our brain sends messages to other body parts through the right answer is nerves nerves are the messenger of brain option b is the right answer question 11 which country has the longest boundary with india Is it Nepal, Bangladesh, Bhutan or China? And the right answer is option B, Bangladesh. Question 12. Which of the following items is completely transparent? Is it A, glass, B, scarf, C, newspaper or D, television? 
so we can see that b c d are not transparent they are opaque we cannot see through option a glass is transparent question 13 who is the author of the famous book malguri days is it munshi premchandra b r k narayan c j k rowling or d roald dahl the right answer here is option b r k narayan and you can watch this on television also you can find that uh, on youtube they are very good and as a kid i really enjoyed watching malguri days Question 14 Fill in the blanks by selecting the correct option The dash of the snow clad mountains is exciting Is it CIT site or SIGHT site SIGN site or SHIGHT And the right answer here should be the vision of the snow clad mountain right the visuals of that and for that the option B SIGHT is the right answer because that means the vision question 15 select the word with the correct spelling in english language and it looks like they are talking about accommodation the right spelling of accommodation is option a a c c o m m o d a t i o n question 16 an emerald is a precious gemstone what is it called what, what is its color so you can see it here it is green color option c is the right answer question 17 the road sign shown in the picture means is it no parking no entry stop or roundabout ahead here the p means parking and we are crossing the p that means it is no parking option a is the right answer Question 18 In the given picture what is the cricket umpire signaling Now this you all must already know And the right answer is it's six runs option C is the right one Question 19 Identify the yogasana shown in the given picture Now can you identify this So let me tell you about this This is balasana option b is the right answer and it is also known as child's pose it is a restorative pose that is known for its calming grounding and relaxing effect question 20 select the combination of numbers so that the letters are arranged accordingly to form a meaningful english word so first of all let's uh, unscramble that and find the meaningful word and it looks like we are getting sweet from this s w w e t now we have to do the decoding what is s over here it's 1 w is 3 and e has two places 1 and 5 and t is 4 so the first option can be 2 3 1 5 4 now what we'll do we will reshuffle the numbers of e because there can be two combinations right s still 2 w still 3 now first e will say 5 and second e will say 1 and t is 4 yeah now let's find out of these two is there any option mm, i can see i can see the option b so this one 2 3 1 5 4 is there in option b and that is the right answer Moving to our next section that is current affairs. Question 21 When is World Environment Day celebrated every year? The World Environment Day is celebrated every year on 5th June and it encourages awareness and action for the protection of the environment. So option A 5th June is the right answer. Question 22 Which team won the IPL 2022? and the right answer here is option c gujarat titans now let's find out who is the winner of ipl 2023 and it is chennai super kings why i have mentioned it over here because that is the latest current affair right that is the current affair that for 2023 year 
who is the ipl winner and if asked you can tell it's chennai super kings question 23 who is the current chief minister of uttar pradesh a yogi adityanath b akhilesh yadav c mayavati or none of these the right answer is option a yogi adityanath question 24 who is the current president of india who is she she is dropadi murmu option c is the right answer question 25 In January 2022, who among the following has been named as ICC Women's Cricketer of the Year 2021? And the right answer is option A, Smriti Mandana. Now let's see who is the winner of or who is named as ICC Women's Cricketer of the Year 2022, and it's Natalie Saiwar from India. Moving to the third section that is life skills. Question 26. Which of the following behaviors should be followed in the playground? A. Throwing dirt or grass on your friends? No. B. Using bad words? Not at all. C. Pushing your friends on the slide? No. D. Waiting for your turn and standing in a queue for the swing. And this is the good behavior. Option D is the right answer. Question twenty seven. Which of the following shows honesty? Honesty means truthfulness. A. Making up an excuse for reaching late for your basketball practice. That's a lie. No. B. Spreading rumors about someone. That is again a lie. No. Hiding from teacher that you took help for solving your math problem. Again, it's a lie. No. giving the money you found in the class desk to teacher so here one is being honest they are not hiding anything they are not lying about anything option d is the right answer question 28 which of the following will help you to avoid accidents at home a keeping the bathroom floor wet after bath wrong leaving your toys on the floor after playing no Handling the gas stove on your own very dangerous. Option D, not playing with sharp objects, and that is the right answer. Option D is the right answer to avoid accidents at home. Question twenty nine. In case of a minor burn, we should pour plenty of cool water over it. So we already got our answer. Option A. but let's see the other options also so that we know we should not do it clean it with hot soap water no prick the blisters no cover it with non sterile bandage not at all option a is the right answer question 30 which of the following is not a good habit samaira takes stairs instead of the lift to reach her apartment and that is good habit ruhi watches television for long hours No, that may harm her vision. This is not good. Option B is not a good habit. So we already got our answer. Moving to our last section, that is achievers section, and it holds double marks for each question. Question thirty-one. Identify P, Q, and R from the given statements and select the correct option. Let's see. P. the first sports person to win the padma vibhushan he has picked up many national awards also and the right answer is vishwanathan anand he got padma shri in 1988 the padma bhushan in 2000 and the padma vibhushan in 2007 let's see q the first indian to win an olympic medal in tennis and the right answer is leander pace moving to r First Asian to conquer the English Channel. The right answer is Mihir Sen. He was a famous Indian long-distance swimmer and lawyer. He was the first Asian to conquer the English Channel. So let's see which option matches P as Vishwanathan Anand, Q as Leander Pace, and R as Mihir Sen. And the right answer is option C. Question thirty two. Select the odd one out. A printer, B mouse, C monitor, and D speaker. Now here, printer, monitor, and speakers are output devices 
whereas mouse is an input device. So option B is the odd one out. Question 33. Which of the following cannot be found in the given word grid? Let's see A, B, C, D first and then find them in the grid. A mammal which lays egg. It can be either echidna or platypus. Okay, we'll find it later. B, a flightless bird native to New Zealand. It is kiwi. C, an extinct member of elephant family. It could be mammoth. And D, large reptile that roamed the earth millions of years ago. It can be dinosaur. Now let's see in the grid from left to right and try to find if we can get anything. I already got mammoth and dinosaur also. So we already got C and D. Now let's see from top to bottom and I got kiwi. So we already got B also. But I cannot find platypus or echidna anywhere. That means we got our option. Option A is something which we cannot find in this given word grid. Question 34. The given pictograph shows the number of hours spent by five students on study in a week. Study the graph carefully and answer the following questions. Now here the name of the child is written and then how many number of hours they spent. And each book stands for two hours. So let's find out like for each student actual how many hours they spent. Pooja spent two pictorial hours. That means two into two. In total she spent four hours. Same way Divya there are three books. Pictorial way of saying hours. So we will multiply that by two. 2 into 3 is equal to 6. Divya spent 6 hours. Same way Shivani spent 2 into 4. That is equal to 8 hours. Kirti spent 2 into 3. That is equal to 6 hours. And Rashi spent 2 into 5. That is equal to 10 hours. Now we got total number of hours for each student. Now let's see the question. B. Total number of hours spent by Divya and Shivani is, we will add it. Divya 6 plus 8 equal to 14 hours. Q is, Kirti spent dash hours less than Rashi. So, what we need to do? We need to do the subtraction. Rashi had spent 10 hours and Kirti has spent 6 hours. Let's find the difference and we get 4 hours. So, Kirti spent 4 hours less than Rashi. We got our answer P as 14 and Q as 4. The right option is option A. Question 35. Match the columns and select the correct option. Column 1 has countries and column 2 has their capitals. P. Egypt. Let's do the match. The right answer is Cairo. So, Egypt's capital is Cairo. Q. Spain. Q matches 1. That is Madrid. R. Italy. Italy matches Rome. Norway. It is Oslo. So we got P3, Q1, R2 and S4. The right option is option D. And with this, we have successfully solved class 3 IGQ question paper of last year. I hope you loved solving this question paper with us. We will be uploading many more question paper for class 3 IGQ. So stay tuned and prepare for your Olympiads. Happy learning. Bye bye.